Hello, my name is Larry Borowski from Greenslade & Company and today we're going to be talking about measurement of internal threads. What you have here, this is called our bipoint gauge. Another name or term might be an in for this gauge is an internal thread comparator. The um, reason why it's called a thread comparator is that's exactly what it does. It compares um, a known master to your unknown part and provides you with an actual measurement. Unlike your standard um, go no go plugs which will just give you a um, yes no or a pass fail result, we'll actually get numbers when we use this this gauge. Yeah I just mentioned plug gauges and the reason why I want to do a comparison is quickly plug gauges are typically what's called a system 21 measurement um, and what we we're dealing with here is what we call a system 22 measurement per, per the ASME B1.3 standard. Um, also can be used in system 23, but we're going to really focus on the 22 part. So first thing we have here is we've got a set of functional fingers. What that means is that they've got multiple threads on each finger. So it's going to when we do our measurement using a functional functional set of fingers we are taking all the combined effects of lead, flank angle, and any other thread deviations that might be present inside the thread. So our functional pitch diameter size is always smaller than the simple pitch diameter for internal threads. Anyways, we do take our known master. We have a calibration certificate that accompanies this. It tells us what the real size is, actual size. What we want to do is take that number and we preset our indicator with that number. Um, we lock our fingers into place, we close them up, we put it on there, and once we have our size, we do hit our preset button, and it locks in that number in that position. So essentially we just told the fingers and the gauge where Point twenty eight fifty four really is. Take that off. We then place our nut into position on the gauge. Give it a little rotation. Let it, let it all settle in the grooves, and then we get an actual measurement of our nut. Um, look that up basically in the in your chart or your PD limits off your print, and determine whether you're in or out of spec that way. Now, the other important feature of measuring any internal thread that relates back to thread strength in many cases is your minor diameter. If you have an oversized minor diameter, you lose your thread amount of thread engagement, thus weakening your thread. So, we have a set of minor diameter fingers. We call these our very minor fingers. All they are is straight pins set on a couple of movable mounts. So in this case we take our plain cylindrical ring of known size again, calibration size. We place, we preset our indicator to that calibrated size. Once we place it on there we do our preset twice. It accepts that value. We remove our master. We place our nut back on, our unknown, and you know, we rotate it, it gives us an actual size that's recordable in our inspection record. To continue with our System 22 measurement talk, the other thing that we have to measure is called simple pitch diameter, or we need to basically isolate a single thread taking away all those effects of lead variation, flank angle um, allowances, and all the different features that can be varied in a functional size. So what we have is what's called type 4 or Conan V fingers, which are can be found right here. And as they're as it's described as a one side's a cone, one side's a V. So it fits in one particular thread easy to change out on this system all we do is we remove the retaining screws try to do this really quick for you 
I'll just remove one finger just so you can see the one comes out and then the one goes in. Now, once you do your change out, because it is a threaded, the Conan V is a thread, it's a single thread, we still need to use our threaded master. And once again, we do set it up with the calibrated pitch diameter size of that threaded master. Um, depending on what standard you're really inspecting product to, you may have some requirements where you have to maintain a certain relationship between your functional and your single point or simple pitch diameter measurement. Um, that'll indicate the how bad your flank angles and lead can be out of spec. What you've just seen is our bipoint thread measuring system or internal thread comparator as others like to call it. The, um, the really neat thing about these is that you can fully interchange uh, different sizes on the same frame. So for instance this frame will handle the fingers to be able to measure a number 10 all the way up through two and a half inch thread all on the one frame. So and there's a secondary frame which allows us to go even higher and of course metric equivalents do apply here. So that is our our gauging system in a nutshell and we'd be happy to um, help you out with any of your gauging needs. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe or tune in frequently to our YouTube channel to see new and improved videos. You can give us a call at any time, 817-870-8888, or visit our website for additional information. And remember, if you ever have any questions, you can always ask Mr. Measurement.